Hey everybody, I hope you're doing pretty well. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video just recapping the brand new energy system that is coming to Splinter Lands. Now this was announced eight days ago, but it should go live Tuesday after the maintenance. So I decided to wait to cover it in case there was any updates, but there hasn't been any changes that I've seen to the plan. So this is really something that's quite simple to understand. They are now going to give you an energy bar with a maximum amount of 50 energy, which will allow 50 battles for you per day, uh, or, or till it runs out, with a refill rate of one energy per hour. So that means if you started off brand new, you could play, if you played, you know, 25 games in a day your energy would refill to 49 and you'd have one left and so you could pay 25 uh, battles per day for around 50 days in a row and you'd be fine you can even average out a little bit higher than that and you know people have to sleep this is a play to earn ecosystem and so they are adding a little bit of a limit into how much you can actually play the game this does upset some people and i do understand that you don't want your assets to be limited in their earning potential and you might feel this number is a little bit low it is possible that splinter lands can increase this number in the near future if we give them a lot of constructive criticism once it is live that it's limiting our ability to play but why might they be trying to limit our play a tiny bit well let's get into that because you can buy the ability to play more so if you're in bronze you can pay one dec to get one energy back silver you can pay 10 um gold you can pay 50 uh, diamond you can pay 150 and then in champion you can pay 500 this is cost in dec this is an interesting one if somebody who plays in champion the idea of paying 500 dec to play another game in a day is kind of expensive but i could see doing it if i was one win away from a nether champion chest and I was around, you know, either out of energy or near the maximum amount I wanted to use that day. It was just like, okay, fine. Let me play. Oh, I lost. Let me play again. Oh, I lost. Let me play again. I lost. Let me play again. I won. Oh, I burned 2000 DEC to get that one more chest. That was probably bad because that chest probably won't have $2 of value in it as we return closer to peg. Oops, that was a big mistake. That's why this is really something that to me, they've priced a little bit high in champion now i do understand that that one extra chest could lead to you know a big sps chest with with thousands of sps or a pack and a pack you know in today's price is about 226 even on the secondary market so oh wait well then maybe it is worth it but it's just actually another chance to roll the dice so you're paying for that extra chance in the lower leagues i imagine the value breaks down somewhat similarly but they've made it you know to me one dc is almost nothing but if you're a bronze player and you need to play a little bit more maybe you can afford that that's not that big of a deal but we'll have to see uh, you know how that affects people it's a relatively simple concept and one of the big things that it's changing that will help players is that there won't be that ecr percentage anymore and so how i'll explain that to you is normally when you play the game the only time you would get your maximum amount of resource points towards earning chess is on that very first game you play with a hundred percent capture rate and you need to win after that, you're always earning less than the maximum amount that you could actually be earning. They're getting rid of that. And now you will earn the maximum amount that you could earn for a win every single time you play the game. This really is going to maximize the earning potential of gold cards, promo cards, and playing cards at the right level. It's all going to make that very, very important. So that is relatively good for the game. If you're like playing low level cards in high level leagues and you're taking that big hit to your RP every single battle, well, that's going to hurt you a lot more in this new system because you can't just pay play extra battles to necessarily make that up and so this is uh, you know in general a pretty good change now i'm gonna get logged into the game and this is to kind of show why i think i support this idea and this change all you have to do is go to the leaderboards go to last season go to bronze and go ahead and check out these accounts in bronze you're going to come down only to sixth place before you get to an account that played 1700 games 1700 games in a season just to give you an idea, so if we pull up our little calculator right here, 1,737 games uh, divided by four, 
oops, uh, we want to back that up by 14 days. That That's 124 battles a day. If we divide that by, let's say, 16 hours, that somebody should be, you know, at most able to play a game if they slept for eight hours and still playing the game for 16 hours straight is not really legitimate. So that's playing about seven hour, seven battles per hour for a regular person. And if you were like more realistic, right, let's say you you have 730 battles by 14 days and the most like a player can like dedicate to playing this game if he was real would be about three hours and that's still like a pretty hefty amount of splinterlands in a day and you're now you're you're needing to get 41 battles done per hour in those three hours and you know if you're somebody who really plays a game legitimately you can't do this so this is a bots number but if you're showing well maybe i could do that one well how about seventh place they played three thousand battles so three thousand six hundred and fifty four you divide that by the 14 days you're talking 261 battles a day divide that by that same three hour play now you got to play 87 hours games in an hour that's more than a game per minute you can't do that as a regular player. So these are bots who are getting onto the leaderboard by playing a lot of games. And we have historically looked into these accounts where they play thousands of games to win this TEC prize, and they don't own very many cards. They just play a ton of games and over time are able to get their rating up to a very high number. You're going to see that they're all over the bronze leaderboard here. Here's 3,000, 3,000, 2,000, 3,000, 3,000. And I don't want to harp on this that much because I want this to be a pretty quick video. But clearly, this is not who we want on the leaderboard. We don't want bots that are just playing mass amounts of games who, when you go and look into their accounts, don't own very many cards. We want these leaderboard prizes going out to players who are real, who play the game, or at least who own assets and are and are playing responsibly. Like even these 400 battles per day is, is going to be a little iffy. I shouldn't have closed my, cal my calculator tool. Sorry about that. I had my alarm going off. Um, but if you, you know, j just to give you an idea, let's say you were averaging. So you, so you get 24 more energy every every day at one per hour. And so you can play a little bit more than that, right? Because if you only played six games in a day, you really want to play at least 25 to 30 games a day. So if you were playing 30 games a day times 14 days in a season normally, you'd be right about 420 games. So see, these numbers are very legitimate. Like this person, he would have pushed his energy a little bit lower each day, you know, played 35-ish games a day instead of 30. But that's just you know, what he would have done to be able to pull that off. Now, I'm not saying this isn't a bot. These could all be bots. That's a clear thing that could be happening. But it's just something to understand that we're going to take these massive inflated accounts with thousands of battles and tell them you guys can't do that anymore. And without those thousands of battles to raise their rating, those low level single bot account, single card bot accounts they're just not going to be able to get anywhere on this leaderboard so if you're a newer player to the game the bronze is going to be really good now silver silver is much more competitive you don't have any accounts here that are huge this is probably the only one i saw here tied for seventh place 524 battles would be high pretty hard to pull off under the new system but this was a 524 that won 460 so this is an interesting player. They probably still could have got there. There's another one here with 588 and like this 517. All these 500s, they might have to figure out how to do this with less battles, but a lot of other players are going to be starting to have to play less battles. So it might just equal, equal, like, you know, equal out over time. But that's where we're going to end it today. I just wanted to go over this really quickly and give you my thoughts. In general, I think that this is a good change for the game, that it's going to clean up the bronze leaderboards. It's going to create a DEC sync that will get used by players when, like, if they're right here, right? I just need one more battle to get that chest. But my, my ECR is just too, too low. I might as well, you know, pay and bump this up a little bit. And I think that's going to be a pretty normal occurrence within the ecosystem. People will push for a certain amount of chests per day. And if they run out of energy, they'll go ahead and pay that energy so that they average out those chests over the season. And it's just another good way to have DEC disappearing from the ecosystem as that will support the overall game. Thanks, everybody. Bye.